So Bamboo Labs released the AMS2 Pro. Today we're going to unbox it and I'm going to share my thoughts and let you guys know what I think of it. So with the unboxing running off to the side, I'm going to show you guys the features of this. So with AMS2, it now has the exposed Bowden tubes with the exception of the original AMS where you have to take apart the entire unit to service them. Um, also, the filament dryers are going to be like the little uh, silica gel dryers are going to be a little bit different. So you're going to have to print out new ones. I would recommend using ABS or something with a little bit of a higher temperature. In this case, I used ABS, uh, but there's new files. You can uh, print these out pretty easily. Next, there's these new inlets for the filament. They're made out of ceramics, so they're a little bit harder. They're not gonna wear down like they did on the original AMS. Um, but the biggest feature of all that I think is absolutely amazing about this, I haven't had a filament dryer. I just moved to a higher humidity state. Uh, this will now dry up to 65 degrees Celsius. Um, it actually works out really well. I use this little 3D printed uh, silica gel like spool type of replica thing uh, but it's got all the holes on the sides so that the air can go in and out I printed the spool out of ABS uh, it seems to dry silica well at 65 degrees over an eight hour period I wouldn't recommend filling this up all the way about half works perfectly so part of the drying process you now have a little outlet for the air so it can release the humid air, pull in new air, and continue the drying process. So it's not a completely sealed unit when it goes through drying. So a couple other things. Um, Bamboo says that it has new motors. It's supposed to be 65, I think it's 60% faster than the original AMS. It does seem to be a little bit faster. I don't know if it's that much faster, um, but I'm not gonna say that they're wrong there. Now, part of the motor upgrade is it's supposed to be substantially quieter too. When I first started this up, it was not quieter. It was quite a bit louder than my original AMS. I don't know if it's because it wasn't broken in, uh, but over time, over a 24 hour print, it did seem to quiet down quite a bit. And it has a little bit of a higher pitch motor noise compared to like the clunky lower pitch noise that the AMS, the original AMS has. Um, so it really comes down to preference. I don't think it's a deal breaker either way, uh, but all in all, it you know works the way it's supposed to. So next, this does go back to the drying. If you are using your AMS2 Pro with a printer like the X1C or the A series, uh, you will need to have its own individual power cord. Otherwise it's not gonna have the drying feature. It will still work without the additional power cord. It just won't dry. So you can use this as a standard AMS. Um, if you wanna get that feature later, you can do that to kind of save money in the moment. Um, but just keep in mind, you will need to make sure that you buy that power cord if you intend on using the drying feature. With the, init, or with the new H2D, I believe the H2D will power the first one if you daisy chain multiple together. I believe the second, third, and fourth, you'll need the power cord for those for the drying feature. Uh, now, I didn't get the high temperature single AMS unit. That one goes to a higher degree Celsius for drying other filaments. Personally, I found that if I dry for a longer period of time with ABS or TPU, this thing does perfectly fine. So you might not need to get that in your scenario. Um, in my scenario where I'm not using anything too crazy, this works out for all of my needs. So for my final thoughts on the AMS2 Pro, I really think Bamboo knocked it out of the park. Having the ability to dry four spools at once, it has the venting feature to where it'll get the humid air out. You don't have to kind of like burp the machine every now and again, um, is really nice. I think the inlets for the filament is a huge necessary upgrade compared to the original AMS. Um, I wouldn't say this is a generational upgrade. I think it's just an iteration on the original. Uh, Naming scheme aside, if you're printing just in PLA, you don't live in a state that's super humid, I really don't think the upgrade is necessary. The AMS original is gonna do perfectly fine. Now, 
I'm really impressed with Bamboo Labs. I know they have some software issues that, you know, the updates remove features. Everybody's a little bit upset about that. Uh, personally, I just appreciate that the machines work. They do what they're supposed to. I don't have to tinker with it much. Um, but all in all, I think if you live in a humid state, you don't have an AMS or you're buying another one, this is a perfect upgrade path. Um, so in that scenario, I would recommend it. All in all, I don't regret my purchase. I think the eight color printing is an option that I've wanted for a while and it just gives me that flexibility that I need or I could dry spools while I print others. So it works out really well. Now for eight color printing, just be prepared. The machine is going to poop a lot, um, but it worked out. I printed out this little Charmander. It's eight total colors. It came out really nice. So with that being said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel and have a great day.